Hello once again the people to Let's Play Ghostmaster Part 4. In this episode, we're going to be knocking out the last mission in the first chapter of the game. Summoners not included. I don't think I need to do any more upgrading before I go into this mission, so let's get right to it. A rash professor of the occult recently took a powerful tome to the woods with the goal of summoning an ancient spirit known as the Darkling. Yes, Fleeing his cabin the Darkling. after disastrous initial experiments, he renewed his research at the university. Three of his students, he wanted to call himself Eldritch Presley, but power, it, it never stopped. stolen his notes and journeyed to the cabin, intending to locate the arcane book for their own nefarious Ooh, purposes. On, on a, on a Aid bar. them in performing the summoning, so we may recruit the Darkling for ourselves. Okay. So, this mission, the recommended team, includes Maxine Factor. I'm sad to admit this, but we literally never bring Maxine Factor to anything. She is useless. We are, however, going to be bringing Arclight into this mission. Because there's a, spe a, spe a particular place where we can put him where he becomes incredibly useful. For our means, we've basically got everything we need. Stonewall's gonna be used to free a ghost. Aether is once again going to be using Shattering Song to free a ghost. Boo for this mission actually genuinely does serve a purpose that only Boo can easily serve. And, um, yeah, that's basically the deal. So, in case the opening thing didn't explain it well enough, we are going... This isn't a Scare Everyone Away mission, this is a Summon Ancient Eldritch Thing mission. And... We've got to guide the three mortals who have come here down to the basement without scaring them at all, because if we do, they'll probably get locked in that animation that I lovingly refer to as the butt dance, and that prevents them from proceeding with a cutscene, which basically breaks the game. <laughs> yeah, but once we get them down there, it'll, it'll all kick off and we'll be golden. So, first things first, we've got a few things that we need to sort out in the mission before they can get to the basement. And this time, I'm going to be leaning into the microphone to speak so my voice won't be very, 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 very quiet again. Okay? Let's do this. Trick the mortals into summoning the Darkling by using the ancient tome. Here's Whisperwind, about to be freed. Damn! Big fans of bees. I'm gonna smash this beehive. Now, this is the access for the basement. In order to get here, we need to have someone blow the door so that someone sees the trap door. Tempest. And as you can see, the leaves are going to magically spring into the air and catapult themselves away. Ah, there you go. Right, basement open. Siren song active. All these protecting. Boo. So, oh, right, shit, we can't use siren song until they found them. We can't use these until they do the thing. Yeah, we've got to act quickly in this mission because we can't scare these mortals, so our power will run down quickly. And here's the door. Good, good. Now, the trapdoor doesn't just open, they need to use the key to get to the trapdoor. So for the time being, we're going to use Boo's powers of Kinesis. And move the book back to the barrel. It's just a little bit this time. My cursed husband buried me here in the darkness! That's basically all we need to know about her. He's going to go to the bathroom. Yes, my foolish... And I think he's found the key. The key is in the toilet. Now, Rain Dancer is only freed if someone flushes the toilet. So, oh, is she going to use the toilet? No. 
Yeah, you need someone to use the toilet to free Rain Dom, so which can drag this mission out a little bit, but Moonstream, all she needs to do to be freed is to use either Spooky Surprise or Strange Vision to reveal herself to just any mortal. We aren't going to reveal her to these guys, as I've said, we can't scare them, but there is a specific mortal who's going to be showing up in one of these empty boxes that we can scare. Not that empty box, that empty box. Okay, so he's looking for the book, it's there. Now he's going to call everyone else down into the basement. Hola. For some reason they're able to hear him when he goes, Hola! Standing in the basement. If you've noticed a similarity between the character models, the noises they make, the characters in this game are basically the Sims. They're ripped from the Sims, they were, might have been made in the Sims, I don't really know. And now we've got Bruce Elm. We'll be seeing a lot of Bruce Elm, but not so much of Richard Getley and Sarah Nobi. But this is the only time when Sarah Nobi and Richard Getley you appear. Bruce Elm will appear several mu several more times throughout the game. And now we're locked in this cutscene. This is the one I was talking about earlier. If any of them are scared, they'll do that little uh, butt dance take. animation. They will not be able to perform uh, this cutscene again. We won't be able to perform Yada 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 yada. Just want to take Bundes Benin. They're going to complain, standing around the book, and... Refined word A. Here's Dr. Krauss, with a gun. Gig Bunchite. Thumbs rolling down. Ghostmaster, do not allow the deranged professor to foil our plans. the main as far as this game is concerned. Now, because he's catapulting them out of the basement, one of them will go up to Rain Dancer and maybe use the toilet, maybe free her quickly. Him? Her? I'm not totally certain for Rain Dancer. It's, it can be hard to tell. I'm gonna wait until they're clean out of sight before I use Moonscream's power to reveal her. Self. Right. That should be good. And you uh, aren't bothered. Uh, Drink. Ah! Okay, well they're coming back down. For some reason they come straight back down into the basement with the guy who just threatened them with a gun. I don't really understand it myself, I'm just going to wait for Moonscream's powers to recharge, but yes, Moonscream is on a corpse fetter, and as you can see in the corner where Arclight is, up in the up in the uh, top left corner of my ghosts, his portrait is now highlighted in glow. That's because he can be bound to corpse fetters. I, I never really explained how fetters work in this game. See how here we've got earth flooring, which means that stone wall can be bound because it's earth, and it's technically indoors because it's not on the outside of the world, which means that Boo can be bound. We've also got this guy, who's another rare elemental. Weather Witch, who binds to... Honestly, I don't know how you're supposed to pronounce that word. Thrufair? Possibly. She bounds to Thrufair. They bind to water, so anything from a puddle to a sink to a washing machine, just that sort of stuff. Right. I think I might need to get a bit aggressive with this bastard. Did I get him with the moon screen? I think I got him. Oh, by the way, now you can use Kinesis free of charge. Like, it, it doesn't impact. Right. Got him. Got him, got him, got him. Right. Are you... are you freed yet, Moonscreen? Because I can't scare Dr. Krauss away until you're free and Rain Dance is free. What's an bastard. It's never overtly stated, but I think Moonscreen was Dr. Krauss's wife. I might have to use Moonscream on the other We can't leave Moonscream here, that's, that just won't work. Just want to take. Uh, gig grunty a day. Have a fun day. Oh, the toilet. Oh, Bruce Elm's going to use the toilet. Trooper. Right. Come on, then, Krauss. I can't keep this up forever. I'll run out of power if I don't exchange something soon. 
Oh, I'm not gonna run out of that hard on 250. I'm, I'm good to go. Score 10 here. I don't like how it wobbles around like crazy. Are we, are we actually using the toilet? Fuck. Yeah, he's using the toilet. Good. So, how's your day been, viewer? Uh, yeah. Good, good. Alright. Ah, Moonscreen's doing the camera. Yep, Moonscreen's gonna reveal her pre herself before. Yeah, there we go. And now that he's running off into the night, the three guys will go down into the basement and the Darkling will be ours. Unfortunately, we don't get to hear the badass music in this mission. We just don't scare enough people away. Non-night speak backwards, just so freaking weird. And here's Eldritch Presley himself. Yeah, when I first saw him, I thought he was pretty good and he's eating their souls. The ritual is complete. But the Darkling needs more souls to be freed. A task for later attention. For the time being, enjoy your victory. Summon is not included. There we go. And... Oh, piss. I'm always going for triple pumpkins, but it was the whole Rain Dancer isn't freed yet, Moonscream hasn't freed herself, I couldn't bind Arclight down. It was a bastard. So, um, yes, that summon is not included, and now... Because of your successes, these haunters have been spared from other campaigns to join you in Gravenville. Left to right, Hypnos, Quiver, and Buck. Hypnos is our first Sandman ghost, Quiver is another spook like Boo and Wendell, and Buck is the best ghost, because his fetter is inside and outside. You can literally put him anywhere you want, and that's amazing. For the time being, I'm going to wish you all a good evening, or morning, or whenever it is that you're watching this. Maybe we can just outside for a conventional time. Hey, that's cool. You